welcome back. Oh, there's a weird frame. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually gonna check something one thing in a moment. That's the epilogue. Yeah, I still don't understand what trigger I'm missing. Um, it's very strange. Uh, I have no idea. Very odd. So this will probably be our last episode. It's crazy. I really enjoyed doing this and check our email terminal. There's so many emails. Let me just go to some I know. Uh, Seahawk. I could have helped if I had a Sam. Yeah, so we're talking about Hawk there. And there's some from um, I'm looking for there's a Varric one. I know there's a Varric. Anders says, let's blow the roof off the place. Oh god. Um Maybe, oh uh, yeah, I'm going to write a book about this, V. Tethys. I mean, I'm probably missing some, but these are my favorite ones because I'm a Dragon Age lady. Okay. Your father's first sidearm, a that? memento of his early alliance service. I, need some rest. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in Alright, alright, whatever. The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. All right, get to it. What's so important? Initiative protocol. Thanks to you, we can finally proceed Yay. as intended. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. Okay. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. All right. Or rather, you must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has accelerated concerns. This is so M1 has landed. With choosing, but the vaults like may make outposts self-sufficient choices. And we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus until elections when we can all step aside. Mm -hmm. At the appropriate time. If this person is supposed to represent people, shouldn't the people have a say? That is precisely why we need your backing. We can't impose a vote on the Angar. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Mm -hmm. Someone okay. to speak for Helios. I put forward weird. Pathfinder Reka. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. What does that even mean, But Reiko though? keeps the position and everybody. timeline in the Nexus family. Reiko be stable. I guess Moshai, why not? The first time I accidentally chose Reka, but like, I like Reka, so I wanted her to be, but that was probably not great for Krogan. Bradley's a little bit on the nose. I've given it to the Krogan. You give it to uh, Morda. <laughs> it's hilarious. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their right. Plus, the Moshe would help solidify relations. We're already partnered, thanks to your efforts against the Rokar. All the more reason to focus on our own issues. If we want stability, maybe we should ensure the Krogan stay. What if it was Morda? <laughs> You are out of your mind. Mm. It's definitely unorthodox. It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's a proven leader. On a considerably smaller scale. Yeah. He's kept Eos relatively stable, despite no militia presence. Meridian doesn't mean done. Ked are still out there. A Pathfinder is the obvious choice for stability. For us. But hardly the empowering one. Same old bullshit. If we're going to treat Helios like a home, we need to acknowledge whose home it is. I won't name anyone. I support asking the Moshe to act as interim ambassador. 
Meridian's opening day, and we're surrendering how much influence? Oh, That's harsh. the point, you colonial ward. Mm. Scott is feeling better? Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this. I don't hate Addison. I actually quite like Addison. Integration of Hyperion oh, systems okay. is ongoing. Our SAM node will be accessible on return visits to Meridian. All right. All right. Ryder, enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Kello. The Tempest is getting some much-needed service. I was underfoot, apparently. But I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Finding Meridian crystallized a lot of things about being a Pathfinder. I expect many around here are thinking about their own potential. I don't pretend to understand everything, but Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. Yeah. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. It means a lot that you want to stick with us, Callow. Of course. And keeping my ship is a plus. Mm. The Tempest will be pristine by the time you're ready to go. Just point the way, Pathfinder. So cute. We're in business. Up straight, everyone. I this love is her. the guest right. of honor. Well, like you have to tell anyone that. He's an Hunter, this now. is our opening. Let there be some sense of ceremony. As I was about to say, hello, Pathfinder. I am Chief of Operations, Ayora Pile. Ayora Pile. Second Wave Placements Officer, Darlavas Hyperion. Hunter Carey, Reconstruction. Okay. Darlavas Hyperion, Placements Officer. As our developments in the cluster grow more sophisticated, proper matching of sleeper and assignment will be vital. My mission is to ensure compatibility and fulfillment. When are you changing your name to Vas Meridian? I keep Vas Hyperion to honor the ship that brought us here. As my godparents would want. The saying was dying. Please forgive Hunter. He is an ass. Mm -hmm. Iora Pile, you're in charge of Meridian? That's a big statement. I will oversee the operations and establishment of she our has port. She's a good face model. Exploration and study of the interesting substructure will be handled by initiative R&D. I'm told that may take lifetimes. We'll ensure that we have them. That's what I trained for. Hunter Carey, can I get some clarification on reconstruction? Sure thing. I'm tasked with turning this once proud vessel into the future proud human capital. It's more complicated than that. No, it's a structural and organizational nightmare. Which is job security, which is perfect. Come back in a year. This will be a galactic hub. You won't know where the Hyperion ends and Meridian begins. This is the first I've heard of the term second wave. It isn't literal. There have been several groups deployed for outposts. Second wave is about the staged evolution of the initiative. First wave out of cryo, structural support and generalists. Food and fences. Second wave is organizational. Less generalists, more specialists. More paperwork. Mm. It's needed to rapidly advance. I'm not spending a generation on the range. Sounds like Meridian is in good hands. I can only read the reports of how you brought us this opportunity, but rest assured, we will not waste it. Yes. Thank you, Pathfinder. Hi. Okay. Well, what they said. I like them, though. I like the ladies. So. We got a lot wrong on this trip, but they were right Our about Hyperion, our Hyperion, departed Milky Way 2185, arrived Andromeda 2819. Current status recorded as Meridian. Well, narrator guy's getting work. Mm -hmm. Please select a topic. The transformation of Arc Hyperion into Port Meridian continues both above and below the surface. This includes the planned integration of initiative and remnant technologies, pending further research. Port Meridian is currently mm -hmm. powered by repurposed tantalus drive cores, which require the frequent discharge of static energy. This causes a unique visual phenomenon during Meridian's night cycle that has been dubbed Ooh. Aurora Meridiani. Spoiler, we don't get to go outside here, which really sucks. It's the biggest disappointment. Arc Hyperion has been declared a monument to those who lost their lives in service of the initiative. A plaque has been placed at the highest point of the Hyperion superstructure. It reads, we turned our backs upon a dwindling star to chase a dawn beyond our childhood's end. Okay. 
The Hyperion was shepherded to its resting place by a coalition of allies who stood as one against the Kent Archon. Pathfinder Rider spearheaded the defense and remains assigned to Arc Hyperion despite its reclassification. Landing Day has been proposed as a cluster-wide holiday. Status oh God. pending. We just love holidays. While decommissioned as a vessel, the superstructure silhouette of Arc Hyperion will be maintained in perpetuity. Mm -hmm. All internal structures are being adapted for sleeper deployment and future industrial and residential development. These internal structures have been designated as Port Meridian. Mm. Rider summoning has worked the muscle. Do, 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 do. There are also stress markers suggesting remnant activa activation requires some deviation from cooperative hemispheric function. So Lexi's talking about monitoring the siblings. Note to shut Tan up. Who wrote these? Budgeting requests. Mm. Could Meridian be weaponized? Technically, anything can be weaponized. I think I've read all those. I don't. I mean, there's probably something interesting I'm missing. There you are. Uh, and here you are. Lucky us. How's Sarah? Much better. There might be two riders around soon. Imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. It's what you do. Meridian won't know what hit it. And we should think about what's next. This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? They've got us to keep watch. Your smarts, my irresistible charm. You can't fix every problem with charm, sweetheart. Oh my god, that was voice. I can try. Well, I know I can't resist you. I'm just concerned Don't for everyone twins. else. Everything Meridian could do. Small steps, like you said. There's no rush to figure all this out. They did plan on right. this romance. If at nothing some else, point. Meridian gives us time. Sons of bitches. Whatever happens, you <sighs> gave everyone an incredible gift. You all nice saw job, it. Pathfinder. You all saw how it was planned. You're back. Good to see you. Oh, that's cute. The all right, Joel. My darling one. <laughs> oh, Joel, don't smile. It scare me. Joel, your affections are so loud sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yours can be too. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, I think you're blushing. <laughs> Joel, stop it. You accomplished the inconceivable. I'm grateful to be part of it. No. I'm grateful. I couldn't have asked for a better team. We created this together. And exactly what it is, what it may become, <laughs> I can't even imagine. To think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. Agreed. <laughs> Guess it worked out okay. <sighs> Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshai. But more than that, we'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people and mine. Together. Joel, I care the most about our new beginning. You and I together. Uh, Darling. I don't know if that's actually true. One but... day we'll we'll have a place of our own. And I'll hold you close, looking out over a beautiful world. One we created. He's too nice. Is that even possible? I'm just a weirdo. 
but he's very nice. The last thing they said before trial was the pathfinder could see us through. We were wrong. Want to slip away? Found a great storage room. He doesn't even get it. Sturdy crates, secluded, no interruptions. Down, boy. We've got an audience. Fine, fine. Guess you'll be heading out soon? Still a lot to do. Meridian's just one step toward making Helios our home. Yeah, but a damn big one. You deserve to celebrate. And I deserve another drink. Cheers, Pathfinder. Storage room offer still stands. Just saying. Oh my god. Alright. The last thing. Are we staying? Heading out? Hmm? Whatever you need. Aw. He's sweet. Alright, let's talk to you. Pathfinder. I'm told I'm about to get exceptionally busy. Which, given your health, is unwise. We all gave of ourselves, Zephra. It was time. And as this ambassador, I will continue to do so. I couldn't impose a voice on the Angara, temporary or not. We've always had a voice. This just means your leaders have decided to listen. Also, don't assume my name brings universal approval. You know how varied our opinions can be. I can't speak for everyone, but I will gladly help create the system that does. And Sala Venjuri, Pathfinder. There is much yet to learn. Ephra? I can't the talk to Ephra. Cryo was the Pathfinder will see us through. Ryder, I missed you. Really, Costa? I was gone maybe an hour. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it wasn't long. So, did you miss me? I say stop being foolish, but look who I'm talking to. So long as you keep talking. Heard Scott woke up. How's he doing? Not as well as he acts, but he's getting there, thankfully. Stubborn as hell. I hear it runs in the family. Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of crime. Although he's, he's a very Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. A cute little guy. He couldn't stop crying. I like his just him. male romance the best. <laughs> uh, must be something going around. He's Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? Finally. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? I slip out whenever there's a gap in the paperwork, just to look at it. I feel you. Just ground under our feet, knowing it's ours. I can't wait for more people to wake up. Enjoy it, Pathfinder Rider. Tomorrow, we're back on the job. Ready when it We'll talk more later. Just take in the moment. We deserve it. You deserve it. Okay. So Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. Maybe I should leave you two alone, huh? No need. We'll get time alone before too long. You ready to get going? We've still got a lot to do. You know me. I'm always raring to go. Oh, she's all grown up. Leaving home. Doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Seeing you two in cahoots makes me all misty. You know this is your fault, right? Helping us along? Helios has really turned into the fresh start I wanted. In so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. Ready to go whenever you are, Ryder. Till then, I'll just enjoy the view. Okay. A signal. Okay, calm down. There's something. It's in Bows. It's in Bows. Who knows how many times and it's patchy as hell, but I know an arc signature when I see it. Arc Kilesiae. It's out there. It's damaged or something. I put probes out, but with the scourge, who knows where it is. I'm logging everything. And I mean everything. If a spit bug burps on Eos, I'm parsing it. Because the worst thing, the signal isn't a distress call. It's a warning. Um, official complaint. Um... Discourage defies our efforts. Do, do, do. Oh man. So glad you're up and around. I have important news for you. Okay. There always is. Yes, discoveries every day, but this is something we've been waiting for. Listen.
What should I be hearing? Sorry. Sam. Active filtering. Initiative protocol Alpha Alpha to the screen. Protocol what? Processing. Repeating! This is the Ark Kira Thea. The situation is not under control. Note and avoid until further update. Repeating. Is that... the Corian Ark? And Elcor? Drell? Volus? Hanar, I think. That's some delicate business, putting Hanar in stasis. Point is, they're still out there. The Kila Sia wasn't destroyed. It's patchy, and there's no traceable vector, I assume? It bounced through the Scourge. I've doubled long-range probes, but... That's not a distress call. It's a warning to keep away from... wherever they are. Whatever's happening, they don't want to be found yet. We have to trust their Pathfinder. All we can do is wait. I forget what the... Because there's a book coming out, um, which is very exciting, since we're not getting DLC. Got a job for us? So we'll be able to hear about what's happening there. Kid. I'm very excited. Old man. <laughs> I think Catherine Valente is ready in This one? place is something else. It's just another starting line. Where we go from here is on us. Well, damn, you were listening to me after all. Aww. Through all the creaking of your old bones. <laughs> I sent out what's left of the Macmore scouts. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. Told him to be extra wordy just for him. He'll love that. He wanted the job, he can have the reports. It's not over, you know. There'll be more Ket and whatever else is waiting out there. Whatever happens, we'll be ready for it. Pathfinder and crew ready to take on the galaxy, huh? They won't know what hit him. Jardian language study. I'm starting to think even the Jardian were concerned by Meridian. Are we sure we want to poke around this thing? Even what? these Jardian were surprised at what they created. It is not uncommon for a creator to be surpassed by their creation. Couldn't anyone else have said that? I thought you were planning to stay in bed today. A ghetto can change her mind, can't she? Besides, I remembered I had things to do. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. That sounds exciting. I know. I can't wait. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? <sighs> I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Aww. Do you need a hug? <laughs> There's people around. A tad embarrassing, no? I'm fine. Just happy. With you, Meridian, everything. I know things won't be perfect, but right now, I almost believe they could. Aww. Heading ground? Well, hello. Hello yourself. Eyes front. Try not to swoon. I want you... I want you more. Oh my god. I need proof. Soon. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great. But I really but, like that because you know, a lot there, of the time same-sex relationships aren't like given that like out of some fear which I understand like but I think PB's relationship with her gets both and I enjoy it. Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of us. Helios is changing. And will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. I don't want to miss a thing. Oh! I almost forgot. The device we got out of the volcano? Gil thinks it might someday allow me to program Ooh. real personality into Pockin's app. That's all I need. A robot cracking wise while I'm in a firefight. Mm. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate, remember? What am I going to do with you, PB? I'll send you a list. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. I can dance. It's horrible. This is. Let's they get could out have there, tried. Huh? They could have tried. Still standing. Still standing. Then I did my job. Somehow. Nothing more need be said. I'll remember that the next time you chew me up for getting hurt. So will I, Ryder. So will I. Okay. 
good work. Hey, Ryder. Jill is walking the walk. The procedure took. I'm gonna be a dad. Congratulations. Dad. I'm thinking Mary if it's a girl, Deanne if it's a boy. Mary, Deanne, Marie Deanne. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, sure. Pretty cool. Knew you'd like it. So this is supposed to be a celebration, right? Just want to have all Getting those used babies. Getting to any of this yet? Meridian, Love those babies. Dream Some becoming babies. a reality. Okay. That was a joke. Um. We're not done by a long shot. Come on, try to ease up a little. Enjoy the win. But so you know, I've got the tempest topped out and ready. You want to blow this hot dog stand? Just say the word. Callow's out there somewhere. Time one on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. Who's flying then? You? Why the hell not? I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? Hard. And how about the Nomad? Just once around the planet. Oh my god. No. Ugh, guess I'll just have fun down All right, here. I'll be right back. I gotta pee, but I don't want to stop recording, so. <laughs> Good though. Let's. Is there anything else to do here? Talk to everybody. Ryder. Okay. Glad to have you. I'll just chat with Peeves once more. I want you to enjoy this. It's a big deal. I'm so proud to be with you. Oh. This place is incredible. I really want to delve into its inner workings, but we haven't got clearance yet. I think they're afraid us mucking around might cause Meridian to drop out of the sky or something. Mm, yeah, that would be Hi, my yeah. ultimate fear. Alright, I think we're good. Heading out soon? Yeah. Let's do this. Making a quiet exit? Um. It's no fun having the boss of the party. Have you asked? I wager that most would disagree. I mean, most? Let's, let's not be. I tried to think of a way to honor what you did. Some protocol. There isn't one. Your father invented this rule. But you defined it. Oh. Meridian is humanity's home, and maybe one for all of Helios. We did that, but I'm the Pathfinder. I should be out there on the Tempest with all of you. Let's go home. Pin 
anticlimactic. Then again, it's hard to beat that ME1, like, standing with the backdrop of a planet or a galaxy. You know? Epcot, I miss you. Okay, that's been updated, and then we're just going Sam, to. Sam, that's one hundred percent viability on all known UNCs, Pathfinder. Please access the Tempest VidCon for an important update. Okay, let's Tempest go to the VidCon. VidCon. All right, you and me. Historic doesn't even begin to cover it. Meridian will be textbook, blah, blah, blah. Let's find them. Da, da, da. Just imagine you are famous these days. Like I can copy. Aw. Oh, it's a watercolor of the Tempest grounded in Meridian. I know you've got a million people shining on you right now, but I'm... So I'm here to take you off the pedestal. We are not done, Buster. There's a galaxy of secrets out there, and I'm going to get them, with or without you. You're called. So laugh with the praise, but do it quick, and get your ass back in gear, Buster. PB. So much more to do. Things I wrote as we walked away from Meridian. Can we make fish? Let's go explore. <laughs> oh, it says, um, Liam wrote to remind himself, then accidentally hit send. Lights, bullion, nonsense, fabric, astral. Do we really have to wait for the seed bank for real wine? Pets, transport, private, not work-related. Land claim, get in early for a view. New couch set, farewell, old friend, rate the question. Oh my god. Rate the question, is he going to propose? What? Best sunset, Aurora Meridiani. Last, late. 22 second vids her pick just time team dinner another game tournament and meridian epic oh my god do me a favor and skip the last one did not mean to send that oh i think he wanted to propose you know what don't just keep it me and you we add to it love you oh that's so nice good news too excited and I need to email you. So someone told me they're looking at the jumpstart process for, ver for various companion animals. They think it might restore some feeling of normality and improve morale, meaning dogs and cats, except Vector apparently requested cats to be jumpstarted sometime back and no one's sure why. Because I'm on the science team, I got to put my name on the list of potential adopter families for one of the puppies. Actually, our names. I hope that's not too forward of me signing you up like this. It might be a lot of work. Our puppy will have to be a prop progenitor to help build a stable population here my family always had dogs it feels odd not to have one around they make great warm foot rests anyway start thinking of names i always wanted a dog called rabbit it would confuse so many people i love it my dearest in any case you haven't seen their port celebrations are baking out uh breaking out on ian havaro people are walking with the lightness to their in their steps da, da, da. change is coming we're lucky to have each other at least that's what Ephra said. No, he really did. Aw. Liam's talking about movie night. We gotta go talk to Jal about that. We really did it. The cluster is coming to life again. The archon's gone. We made it out alive together. I'm so proud of you. Maybe I'll show you how proud later. Garn resistance. Oh. People are mad maybe that I destroyed the AI. That was really cute for Liam, though. Let's see if she says anything. Meridian was mind blowing, right? But I was so worried I would lose you. Guess that comes with the territory when you kind of sort of love someone, huh? Guess that makes me feel kind of sort of good. <sighs> you know what I mean. Now, Helios will really take shape, and we have VIP tickets. In some ways, I feel like our adventure is just beginning. Are we getting together later? If I have anything to say about it. Okay. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. I have no problem with them being just horny little lesbians or bisexuals. That's fine with me. All right, I need to find Joel. Lexi, I hear Scott's back on his feet. <laughs> 
Liam's idea about watching vids this together. This is gonna be a mess, y'all. Movie night. Uh, he delayed again, out of respect for the Krogan. Liam! <laughs> Good. <laughs> From what I've seen, your vids are flat. They're only seen and heard. Angara vids use uh, tiny electrodermal signals. You feel it through your skin. I spoke to Gil. We have time to rig up a system to mimic okay. it. If we can acquire the right components. That sounds amazing. Let's do it. The components we need should be sold on Aya. Hmm. Let's be vigilant. Okay, I'll go to Aya. Um. Okay, we'll talk to Liam. Haval, the oldest new world. I like it. We'll talk later. I know it. Alrighty. Is Cora over here? We'll talk to Cora. And then we'll come, uh, we'll go to Aya. Meridian, at last. I kept telling myself, if anything happens, I'll know, I'll feel it. Dumb, huh? There's still so much to do. For the Nexus, the Angara, but not today. Today, we get to feel good about winning. Okay. See you later, Cora. Stay safe. I'm actually gonna play some um, Mass Effect RPG today with my pals. Well, writer does so it's a very Mass Effect day. Places. I play a Corian named Lammy. Because I love we'll Corians, as everyone knows. Um, and I wanted, they didn't Anomaly have a Corian, and I was like, I want to do that. So. Anomaly found. And I do an accent, which is pretty hilarious. It's just bad accent, but I do it anyway because I try. Um, what's going on? Here? What can I say? I must try. Anyway, but I've got the oil before that, so plenty of time to finish this and to enjoy my Saturday because that's when I'm recording. Okay, there you go. Movie night, like I said, what it tends to do when you have the romance mod on is um, stack them all on top of each other. So it's probably going to be really horrifying, guys. You know, it's going to be bad. But we're all going to laugh. Uh, it'll be a great way to end this. Sorry to do everything. I normally would try to. It's just... I want to sleep a lot. <laughs> I really enjoyed this playthrough though. Like I said, I, I still, I will probably, just like DAI, I perpetually will replay these games because I love them. It's a sickness. I could play new games, but no, I don't. Or I do, but not as much, you know? Cause like I said, I'll probably immediately make another character just for fun. And then someday play it. Um, I just like CC. Now, this CC isn't the best, but Lord knows it's better than the first Mass Effects one. We all know the perils of that, or the second, or even the third. It's, it's a hellscape. Welcome. Okay, we're good. I don't think there was anything to do here, but I will check. I don't know where this person is, but I guess we'll find out. It might be the guy on the dock, right? We're gonna have a good movie night. I'm trying to remember if there's anything I'm missing. But I'm really pleased. I, I got most of the things I wanted to do down all that I thought were interesting. I have bad news. Your supplier, Keldo. The cat got him. Thank you for confirming how he died. 
You have his supplies? Keldo ran weapons for the Resistance. You were his contact. Good, good. Continue. Ephra asked you to test me, see how I'd handle myself. And I told him you were smart. The cat had your weapons. I got them back. Yes, all of them. And kill those killers dead. This yep. is good. I'm a hero. You're honest, Pathfinder. Reliable. I'll tell Ephra you did well. I appreciate it. I do want our people to get along. Help each other. You proved it. This time at least. All right. You need to get the weapons where they belong, but Keldo would want me to help you. I have things you can use, and I want to see your credits for myself. Trade? Resources are scarce for us. If you'll take credits, I'll trade. It's a start. My inventory's open to you. Anything you need. I don't need anything. I'm, I'm finished with the game, sir. All right. Yep. All right. Ryder, Lexi was looking for you. Oh yeah, hold on, I think I... You have AVP outstanding. The hell you did? You can't just undo 10 hours of work. I had to. Your revamp risks power imbalance between decks, something we solved back home. It's twice as efficient, just because it doesn't match your sainted specs. And now it does. As you say, deal with it. Callow. I know, just please don't let this distract you. Okay. So that message was from an STG agent? One who's convinced your people were betrayed. That's bizarre. What could the cat offer anyone that's worth an arc? Watch your step, Ryder. Back home when STG was involved, things got messy. Hmm. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Maybe I'll go talk to Gil. What can I do for I you? Yeah, hold on. All right, I'll see if Suvi has anything to say. Where to next? I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I go where the science is, as you know. Well, lucky you, Dr. Anwar. Science is everywhere. Lucky me, indeed. Ooh. Do I have to be here for this? Aw. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough life, buddy. Just go... Pathfind. Anything I can help with? I should get back to things. Sirens, Kate? Okay. Let's go. Where we talk to oh, we need to talk to what's her face, Lexi. What's her face? Ah, you acquired the components. Yep. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing what you and Gil put together. He's very gifted. If, when we succeed. More of your people can experience our stories as they are meant to be enjoyed. Cool. Goda Tavitara. The Lulia Reborn Trilogy. I'm weeping a bit already. Uh, what do we do? Can we finally do it? Detail. Detail. A home in the middle of Kadara, despite it all. We'll talk later. Oh wait. I know it. Maybe I have to go in the room? Journal. Hilly's assignments. Shouldn't be there. Additional tasks, maybe? Movie night. Finding the dead. Where is that? Oh, I need to go to the Tempest uh, vid thing. Why isn't it updating? Maybe I have to leave. Sometimes you have to like leave and then it'll update. There's a new task because we hit 100% viability? 
It is a significant milestone, Pathfinder. Preparations have been made for some time. I need to know if there's another expectation because of this. Updating objectives. You have a high priority destination. Okay. At Habitat 7? What's going on? I have been instructed to not reveal mission parameters. Don't be late, Pathfinder. Oh, did I actually... Because I know that there was a thing that you had to complete viability everywhere to get, but I guess I did that. So we'll just... Anyway, hopefully movie night updates. Because, like, I do know that you have to go into the room and launch it. Maybe Helios Flora is more edible okay. now. With Meridian active. Not Suvi. again. Stop I've seen reports of floral mare stems and plants that didn't have them before. This could be it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, if you do try them, make sure it's not before a long shift this time. No, oh, Subi. Anomaly detected. Oops, tab. So, back at Habitat 7. What am I supposed to see, and what's it got to do with 100% viability? I'm getting initiative signals, magnetosphere charges, and atmosphere probes. The vault here remains non-functional. But with 100% viability to invest, we've begun terraforming Aww. this world with initiative technology. The good old-fashioned hard way. It'll eventually be a home too, thanks to you. Mm. Never leave a planet behind. There is one more item, Pathfinder. Opening channels to the Nexus, Meridian, Podromos, Deteon, Tevuni, New Tachunka, and Initiative Allies. By unanimous vote, this world is to be renamed. Habitat 7 is now listed astronomically as Rider 1. Your world, Pathfinder. Their future. Aww. That's nice. A little self-centered, but I, you know. Anyway, let me uh, go check. It's probably not there, but I will talk to Alexi if not, so maybe that's a... Is there... Is that here? Because I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. Like, you go over here. Hi, Pie Jack. What's up? Alright, we'll go see Lexi, because... Ready for more tests? Not again. Lexi, I'm fine. Sit now, and I'll skip the blood work. Have you experienced any muscle spasms? Nosebleeds? Memory loss? I feel like my normal self. You haven't been normal since Habitat 7. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> you should know. Professor Hirick approached me about a transfer hmm. to the Nexus. Apparently my research on Ket anatomy has been useful to the militia. You could continue your studies in a low-risk environment. I turned him down. Oh. Truth is, I've discovered I do my best work in the field. It is a shame, though, that field. Natalie Dormer voices and somebody and we don't even give me. her, like, a a different um, face model. That's just sad. I'm lucky to have Natalie you Natalie Dormer, y'all. Yes, you are. But I'm pretty lucky, too. Damn tragedy. All right. Talk to Betra and Gil. A toast. The banquet. Woke up today and thought back to the search. And then I remembered it's over. It's really over. We did it. I know what you mean. I don't want this high to go away. I'm going to enjoy it for as long as it lasts before I settle down. Settle down? Yeah. Now that we're back on track, I thought I'd maybe talk to a Nexus colonization expert. Get assigned to an outpost, start a farm or something. This is... <laughs> Who am I kidding? I love yeah. being on the ship. I'm staying here until you kick me off. Good. I was like, you probably have work to do. We can chat later. That you know does where to not find vibe me. With me, I don't want to live on a little farm. I want a space adventure. I want to 
If you with me, you got a space adventure too. Space adventure together. Forever. That was a good win. I wonder what other kind of trouble we can get up to. Always looking for the next fight, aren't you, old man? I don't have to call him old man. Admit, You're so old rude, you know? hard. I might have I had a long time man. to settle in. Are you happy now that Spender's out of the picture? Damn right I am. Good Bad. riddance, too. Someone somewhere will take care of him. And you won't have anything to do with it, huh? Hold a grudge. Me? I would never. Mm. We can talk more later. Sure. All right. But yeah, I think movie night should, once, if we leave, it should kick in. And then... There you are. God, I was like, why are you there? Hail the Archon Killer. I heard it was touch and go, but you really rose to the occasion. Better to be lucky than good, right? Forget that. Leave nothing to luck. Out with it already. What's the deal with you and Callow? Anything I should be concerned about? Uh, twist my arm. Like that. Love. It, it's contrasting styles more than anything. He's a blueprint guy. I'm gears and guts. Got ink on his digits, not grease, up to his elbows. If you didn't have me to balance him out, you might be in trouble. <laughs> Heck, maybe that goes both ways. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. All right, we just gotta randomly go somewhere, so. We'll just we'll go to the Nexus real quick and then come back. And hopefully movie night comes around. I, I have, of course, recorded some of the movie nights. I think PB's version... There we go. On my channel. So, even if this is abnormal... can't end it without movie night. I can't. You know, I just can't do it. Jeez. Oh, you know what? Shit, I have to... We have to find the other memory. Because the playthrough can't be over without this thing happening. So we're going to have to find that memory. I should have just done that, but... This is all optional, y'all. Game's over, I know, but... Um, I need to finish the last thing in order to unlock the last me last memory, which is like pretty important to the story. So, then you know that's just how it is. The has been established on Io, marking a major diplomatic success for the initiative. Nexus representatives are now working directly with the Angarans to learn more about both the cluster okay. and the cats. This is HNS. We needed to talk to what's her face, so that's kind of why I came here and hoping movie night. I'm starting to think that perhaps it's a memory. I think we gotta go to all the fucking planets. Which I know. Really not ideal. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, she's... But, you know. Ryder, always a pleasure. I hear you're assisting Major Salem Varn's investigation into Dr. Mm -hmm, Adam. Mm -hmm. You know Salem? I met him once or twice. A remarkable agent, despite his age. Unfortunately, my attempts to aid him have stalled. Salen gave me two leads, but everything I found was inconclusive. I think it's I've oh, tried enlisting Arc leadership, those who woke first, because, but they've been busy, yeah. unhelpful, I'm or both. I'm gonna check Havaro. Perhaps we should get 
creative. Hey, if we don't break the rules, we will. This is the quest. One of the ARC officers who woke early, About. Rand Lon, has an apartment sure. here. If he's too busy to help, you could scan around carefully, see what you can find. Okay. I'm not going to do that because it's frankly a little boring. I think the summary of this quest line is that somebody's pretending to be somebody else. And that's all I remember, honestly. It's, it's, it's you know. I totally forgot that that was the last quest the of uh, the main quest. And I thought I'd do it. But yeah, hopefully on Havara we'll find that and then we can come back. I should have, I mean, I meant to like look around for the last memory because you have to find those stupid this memories and HNS. then they unlock Sam, but we got to do that one. I don't, it's not worth a separate episode though. So sadly, everyone's going to have to be patient with me or you could just like skip ahead a bit, you know, though I hope movie night is unlocked now. Yeah. I'm just going to be hitting the planets and uh. I really, I enjoyed Suvi's romance more than I thought I would. I really like her, um, double the content would have been fabulous, but, uh, I always think in retrospect, I feel like the romances have more content than they actually do, you know? Ryder, could we talk a moment? Okay, okay, we'll talk. You're I don't believe it! Gil's reconfigured our entire nav array! O'Connell risked a dozen spacewalks putting that in place. Damn it! Callo, don't. Take the helm. I've had enough of this. Oh no. You don't give a damn what my team and I went through to build this ship. No, I don't. I care about us surviving out here, and if that means redesigning. You don't have the right! All right, let's talk this out. What's going on? I'm doing my job, and he's undoing it because... Hell if I know. You weren't here. We had to get all kinds of new tech working in a single starship. 50 hour shifts, epiphanies, accidents. Humans can forget. Salarians can't. To me, it's all still happening. My team is here. Stripping down the Tempest like some broken radio risks everything they suffered to build. Their legacy. If he had the Tempest up on blocks, I might see it. Look, Callo, your people did a great job, but they're dead. And they couldn't have anticipated half the problems in Helios. Like the Scourge. If we don't adapt, we'll die too. Is that what you want their legacy to be? Gutting a complex ship out in space Everybody's isn't adapting. Like, it's irresponsible and disrespectful. I mean, I... <sighs> the Tempest is ours now. She has to serve our mission first in whatever capacity we need. Gil, change whatever you have to. I wonder, in time, will strangers be treating your achievements so carelessly? Kalo. Peace and quiet, finally. Thanks, Ryder. I don't like the way Gil is handling it at all. Okay, show's over. Back to it. But I think he's being a bit... God damn it, where's movie night? Why Cycle isn't it working? On. We have to secure Kitasira. Let me see. Additional tasks. Work on manifestos, boosting the signal. I swear to fucking god. The things I do. Um, all right, let me, hang on, all right, so you gotta fucking find these, well, it's, it looks like one or two, maybe, god damn, maybe we don't get movie night, guys, maybe we don't, all right, so, I don't really see, unless it's showing up now, I think Havarl is our best bet of places that I could have missed the triggers. Because Havarl, you don't have the nomad to cruise around, um, so we'll see. And worse comes to worse, it doesn't show on the fucking map, which is like, kill me. Because it's not even showing up now. Which is really stupid and just not happy. I'm not a happy lady. 
but I tried my best. <sighs> Hopefully. I mean, I'm sad if we don't get movie night, which it looks like we're not going to. But I try. I try real hard. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. We sell a Beauty and the Beast bell. Check the emails. Here, that would be great. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So, can we go to the mouth like that? No, let's no, wait. No, no, no. Take that one. I was right. Yay. Um,. So hopefully this will complete it, and then we'll just head back and. The initiative researchers might benefit from scans of the mutated wildlife nearby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably could have done more here, but it just. No, I don't have time for this. I don't. Get away from me. I honestly can't remember where this one actually is, but we'll run into it probably. Hopefully it's not like in a cave that is easy to miss or something. We might fucking be down in that thing though, so we might have to actually... I think. Yeah, it might... Wait, hold on a minute. I'm just curious. Why can't I fast travel? Oh, I'm in combat. Fuck. Kill it! Alright, now I'm pissed. I think we're good. Okay. So is it this one? Yeah. Hopefully we find it quite easily. Did I genuinely miss it on top of this thing? Because if so... What? It can't be up, so it has to be... We'll see. What? What did I do? What did I do? Did I make you bad? What? Is it up there and I'm an idiot? Where is it? But yeah, clearly I couldn't access it that way. Oh, oh, what? Where is it? Where is it? Annoyed. Uh, some of these ones are just so fucking annoying that I don't even know. I. Yeah, it says up. Oh, maybe we should start again. below well, I didn't see it there so why don't we just go here and if not I'll go back to the top I feel like it was on the top it's just I didn't see it so god damn those floaty remnant bots try to push us off the edge I'll be mad it could be here I just don't think it is damn it is pretty though I don't know why it would be over here. Enemies! Oh uh, no. Not here. Not sure it's the top. I feel like it has to be at the top. Because I feel like. My own 
only other thought was that it was down here. But it was like pointing up before, so maybe I did miss it in the cave. It's completely possible that it's like in here. It's my best guess. So we're just gonna walk in here and hope that it's here. Ah, no, that's the fucking well. I'm a great person who's so intelligent. Yeah, it's above us. Well, I mean, if it was right there. And I'm a dumbass, and what else is new? Wait, am I supposed to be going up? Oh, there it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. How did I miss that? Oh, I'm a, I'm a bad lady. I stupid. Looks like that was another okay. memory. Now we're gonna go to where's the fucking tempest? Oh, there. Wait, no, no. Oh, do I need to get out of here first? God damn it. And the last. The final memory is unlocked. Yay! Please return to Sam node. We've done it, guys. I'm going. I'm glad I didn't go back to the top, because that was not there, but... Sometimes you just get confused. Especially because that was one that, like, I should have... And I probably didn't show because I was in, what do you call it? I can't fast travel yet? Okay. Well. That's fine. I don't need to fast travel and save time. Why would I need to do that game? You know me, I just love the hard life. Make sure we're far enough out. There should be enough. Alright. Maybe I'll talk to Liam when we get back just to see if that starts the movie night. But we might have already done that. I don't know. Some days. Shit. Come on. Stuck. Is this real? Why? Why? I failed. I failed everyone. You're joking. How do I crouch? Time to huddle. Help me. Fuck. I'm so stupid. <laughs> it's really overwhelming some days how stupid I can be. And I just... I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure there's a crouch button I could have fixed that with. But, you know... Sometimes you just gotta be a big idiot and live your life. You know? Whee! Maybe narratively it makes more sense to find this at the end. I don't know. Leaving Avaral. Bridge is yours, Pathfinder. Thank you. Triumph Rider. 
Look at those gas clouds. No wonder Meridian stayed hidden so long. Okay. Finally back to Epcot. We're in stable orbit. Where's the... Oh, there it is. I was like, why can't I click it? It's so weird. That looks weird. Come on. Back do. Reporting success. Check. Look proud, Pathfinder. Keeping up your training shouldn't get soft. This place is great for a jog if you follow the equator. Like running up the longest wall in the galaxy. Want to try? You run, I'll be right by right at your side. I know, sweetheart. So you'll be there first thing tomorrow. Sounds good. First one to three miles makes breakfast. They'll always expect more from us. But we always deliver. See you at 0500. Oh. Ryder, you have to promise me something. Okay. What's that? If you see me spending a ton of time here, please make me leave. I could blink and lose 20 years in a place like this. We don't get to go outside. No doubt I'll have other things for you to do. You do know. You're the one person with the power to distract me from Meridian. Now go away. I've got more to do and ponder and figure out. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I guess we should talk to Captain Dunn. I like her. I skipped that try now, but... Captain Dunn, still here? I'll be the last one off, Pathfinder. They can call it a building now. But it's still my ship until everyone is clear. Aww. It's a good ride. I'm sorry to see it end. Everyone owes you their lives. It was an honor to help bring it all home. We both know how many people were involved. Mm -hmm. We do, but I still I'm like you. I'm not completely walking away. But it'll be nice to have a place. I've got a friend working on it. A nice little homestead. With fences. So you know what's yours. Oh, okay. Ooh, fancy. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. Okay. What was it Jean Garson said? The code word is fulcrum? That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted from the final planning stages of okay. Hyperion's departure. Castus. Thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Aww. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. It's Garrus's papa. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now. And that's Garrus's voice. And? <laughs> he says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle, an extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. Sure. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you, and then Seven. So, if the commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. Why do they have to change they will their keep face? the reason quiet. Jesus, just no need one. to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. 
Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. <sighs> Sam, transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. <sighs> There's still hope for your mother. <laughs> I guess we didn't hear that. Oh boy. Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. This should never have been kept secret. Your father didn't want to raise false hopes. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder, to see the process yeah. through. Truthfully, he didn't really care Where's about his now? kids. He, just, he loved period. his wife, but he didn't Ellen care about is his in kids. A stasis pod a under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. So this was Dad's plan. Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Scott could one yeah, day be reunited about... with your mother. It was about his wife. He was also concerned Which is nice, that what he, but he about probably the shouldn't have kids. And the benefactor be remained real. secret. So he did not he seem entrusted like a good you dad. with this knowledge. Okay. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Now we know what Jean Garson meant. That something big spooks the benefactor. It was these reapers. But what the do you know about them? Didn't know a what? spectre so operative weird. in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reaper's return was imminent. But why was Jean Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. But I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was or is the Benefactor? Unknown. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are great troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information should anything happen to him. Got it. I need to go find mom. Got her. It's a cat fight. Alright, let's go unlock those memories. Your father's personal logs. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186. Everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. And so was our mysterious benefactor. This is Paladin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack, Primark Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down. Ah, chickens. Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber One. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. All instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My God, son. Oh God. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. 
I don't know if your arbs made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. We are and always tell thinking your ahead. Of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni signing off. Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor and the fact that we still don't know who they are and all these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. Mm, this yeah. is all very troubling, Alec. You should have. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. But you didn't. Jen, I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way... Well, something terrible happened there. At least the benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. Mm -hmm. I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew. I wish we dealt with that. Back. I feel like the game, if it moved a little quicker and then dealt with that, and then we kind of had some time here on this new planet, that would have been really cool. Just my thoughts. Gotta go meet Scotty. Scooty poop. Oh, it's you. Oh, you're just selling shit. Cool. Pathfinder, name's Sandra. Set up a little shop for noobs. You don't look as white-eyed as the other Meridian staff. She just told me don't fuck it up. Alright. There we go. He's just playing a game on his Omni. Okay, this is the pod you told me about. Who's Elizabeth Riley? I could have milked this a little, but this is mom. What? I saw dad's last memory. We gotta take care of you he before brought she comes her. out someday. ER isn't Elizabeth Riley. It's Ellen Ryder. I don't... How... Wow, how is this possible? Apparently, putting her into stasis also put her disease on hold. Its progress has been halted. Alec put her in stasis after she fell unconscious in the hospital. This is incredible. So dad being a pain in the ass finally paid off. I want to shake his hand. Oh my god. And then I, punch him. I don't Why regret didn't he tell us? This I said the same but thing, hilarious. but does it really matter? She's still with us. Well, let's get her out of there. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. Can't we cure her, Sam? It's been 600 years. That was your father's plan. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive, and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. Sam, we couldn't have come this far without you. Thanks. No gratitude is required. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill, mm. together. The Weirdo Twins. <sighs> All right, I think that's it. Like I said, I wanted to do movie night, but if you want to see movie nights on my channel, or you can look it up, and it'd probably be not glitched like this one would be.
Ryder, right picked a house yet? What are you talking about, Costa? A house. Or apartment, I guess. They're planning the residential conversion. Pathfinder carries some weight. We could get a cozy place for two. Or, you know, more. Oh my god. Yeah, he already wants to get married and have babies. God damn you, you straights. Kidding. Um, we'll just Assuming say. what you mean by more, how many are we talking? They would make kids. I don't kids. know. We need room for Drac, Jar. Little Suvi will need our own room soon. <laughs> you jackass. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> I freaked out when you called my bluff and it wasn't one. Aww. He's so sweet. I really liked his romance. I think that was the most enlightening thing from this journey is I quite enjoyed his romance. Always going to be work to do, but the galaxy seems a lot friendlier these days. Glad I tied my anchor to your ship. At least that makes one of us old timer. Old timer. <laughs> I resemble that remark. Oh my god. But yeah, I really liked Liam's romance. It's just a little shocking, but he seems say, very sweet. I haven't been out of stasis very long. Hope. Hope is what built this despite impossible odds. And trust, you took a big chance on us. On me. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't be here seeing this if we hadn't opened our minds and hearts to each other. All of us. We can still learn a lot from each other. I hope the Angara think so too. There will always be those who hate. My people, your people. But once they see what we've built together, who knows? Oh. Supply by cow. Where was that? Uh, oh, I think I already talked to them all. I think those were what the question marks were. We did skip that drizzle. So. Check the last out that I just realized we haven't decided where we're going. I'm gonna to live, live with all of you. You're right. How are we even supposed to? But pick? I wouldn't want to live on the tempest. What anymore. are the options? Where are we allowed just to, to settle? You're a writer. I'm sure someone would build you Ooh, a floating I want it. castle somewhere if you really want. I want one. it. I want it. Floating castles. Pff, no, no, no. Done. I want it. A Pathfinder's home has to be cutting edge, original. Guess I'll have to think harder then, because that's what I want in the end. That's what all of this was for, so we could build a home together. I know. And it's not far away. Oh, it is sweet. All right. I can't believe it's over, but I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really did. And it's not just about having it on my channel so I could share it with you guys. But it was also about, like, you know, having fun with mods. And I, I romanced a lot of people. Don't regret it, really, except for the glitchy parts. Again, I'm sorry about the stupid bridge scene, but... Sorry, I thought that was Lexi, and I'm like, wait, they all have the same face model. What am I talking about? Does she have anything to say again? Nothing new, Pathfinder, but the Corian Ark is out there. There's hope. Fucking better be. All I want to say is Corian's forever. And that's how I'm going to end this one. Thank you all so much. If you watched every episode, what the hell? Like, what? What? Or even if you just watched a few? Um, I really appreciate it, and... I love you guys, but I love space. Like and uh, you're always welcome to recommend we good games here. to me. Space games and, or whatever. I just love it. Um, bye, guys. I will see you in the next one.